Hi everyone, my name is Andrew. I'm going to be doing a series of these videos, so if you have any questions, let me know in the description and I will be sure to answer them in the next video or in the comment section uh, for, as much, for as long as I can. So I'm going to talk about two things uh, very briefly. Buying cryptocurrency and mining cryptocurrency, specifically uh, Ethereum, uh, which is the platform, and Ether is the token. So to buy it, um, I have a friend of mine who just said, why do I want to waste time mining it when I could just buy it? So the fastest way to get started in this is probably using a website called Coinbase. Uh, Coinbase.com, I'll put a link in the description below. And if you use the link, you will get $10 of Bitcoin automatically, and I will get $10 of Bitcoin. So use the affiliate links that I uh, provide in the description below. You'll be helping me out and yourself out. It's really cool. So Coinbase, you'll need a bank account. You can use a credit card. Uh, they are working on getting PayPal going. And so it is very easy to set up. It, in less than an hour, you ha will have been able to purchase a cryptocurrency. And there are fees involved and there are other platforms like Gemini which is an exchange and that takes longer but the fees are lower but to get started and user interface and stability and clarity uh, you probably want to go with Coinbase. Now as far as mining goes if you want to buy as well as mine um, you can just use this setup that I have going right now before I get to the setup that I have going right now, I just want to clarify one thing. When you purchase your cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, Ether, or Litecoin, um, you don't have to have a uh, cryptocurrency wallet. Coinbase generates it automatically for you. After that point, you can create your own other wallet and transfer it out of there, whatever you want to do. So you'll, you'll make the purchase and then it creates the wallet for you which is nice but now getting to the mining thing so I have a uh, GTX 1080 Ti graphics card uh, the liquid cooled version by EVGA again that link is in the description below as well and that is the most powerful graphics card it is also not cheap but you want to buy the liquid cooled version if you are going to overclock your graphics card which is what I recommend because if you overclock your graphics card you'll be yielding more uh, shares of ether at a time so I have a uh, joined pool of uh, miners and basically the idea behind that is if you're on a mountainside by yourself and you you could spend your entire lifetime looking for gold whereas if you go to a mountain with an entire team of miners and then you all agree okay we're just going to distribute whatever we find then the likelihood goes way up that you will mine more so every single green entry that you see on the screen as time passes is a share of ether um, and so I'm using an app called uh, Claymore it allows you to mine two cryptocurrencies at one time um, and then I'm I also have it overclocked my graphics card overclocked and it stays nice and cool uh, it's 72 degrees overclocked uh, as high as it'll go you don't have to worry about your processor speed in your computer or RAM or any of that stuff it mainly is graphics card dependent so if you have a PCI Express slot and you should be able to uh, do this just fine. Now if you already have a graphics card that is capable of doing it, I believe it has to be over two gigabyte graphics card. Um, then the only factor that you have to consider is cost of electricity. And there is a calculator that um, you can just say, this is the currency I want to mine, this is my computer, this is how, how many hashes, mega hashes I, you get and it will do all the math and tell you if it's beneficial, if it's cost, cost effective to mine cryptocurrency. Now I will say also, uh, that another factor that does matter 
is you want to get a power supply uh, that um, can handle your load of the graphics card because it does consume a lot of power it does get quite warm um, so this one here is a 650 watt and it's running just fine but it does get really warm so put it in a basement or a well ventilated room uh, for the for the best results so I'll put that calculator in the description I'll put a link to Claymore I'll put a link to the pool which is that group of miners that come together I have a link to the graphics card that I'm using that I'm happy with and if you play video games you'll also be very thrilled with it that when you're not mining you can be playing video games at the absolute highest settings on any game that are out there that I know of at the present time and then also that link to coinbase uh, to get you started I, I'm really happy with coinbase um, but I am also moving into Gemini but Gemini takes longer to get going and it's a little more confusing so one other thing that I would point out to you in getting started with uh, cryptocurrency there is a lot of information out there a lot of misinformation out there and so take your time if you don't have the money to put into this um, and you want to get into it well find a way but don't risk more than you can recover from. Um, and also, it's worth joining a Facebook group. I'm part of a Facebook group that um, is specifically about Ethereum. And so you get a lot of people on there. Some are helpful, some are total jerks. Some are very well informed and other people think that they're informed. So. Uh, and, and I know that I'm not the most knowledgeable on this by any stretch of the imagination. I have enough confidence in my own understanding and I'm willing to risk. So that's, uh, that's, that's who's talking to you now. Someone who has enough information for, for myself to be comfortable and I'm also willing to take risks. So uh, let me know what you think. I am going to be doing a series of these videos. So if you have any questions, um, let me know in the comments below. I'll try to either answer them there or in a future video for as long as I'm able. And um, thank you. If, if you'd like to support this channel, um, you can click subscribe and like the video. That helps. Share the video. And also, I'll put a link if you want to send a donation, either a cryptocurrency or uh, old money. So <laughs> thanks for watching. I hope this gave you some idea of where to go and what to do. Thanks.